on a scale from 1 to 10 colon most painful medical conditions. Kidney stones, childbirth, trigeminal neuralgia, cancer bone pain, endometriosis and shingles are some major causes of agony. The worst type of pain? It's whatever pain you personally suffer from. But experts and patients agree, certain medical conditions are especially excruciating. What is the worst pain in the world? When healthcare providers ask patients to rate their pain on a scale from 1 to 10, these conditions, whether acute or chronic, can have some of them responding 11. If pain can't always be cured, proper treatment can at least help scale it back. Kidney stones. If you've ever suffered from a kidney stone, you know why it ranks high on the pain scale. Trying to pass a kidney stone stuck in the urinary tract can bring people to their knees and straight to the emergency room. Usually made of calcium, these hard pellets block the flow of urine, making the kidney swell and causing waves of sharp pain at the mid-back, abdomen or sides and for men, pain at the end of their private part. Nausea, vomiting, fever and blood in the urine are common. Once a kidney stone is confirmed, treatment with four fluid and medication allows the stone, and the pain, to pass. Stubborn small kidney stones may require shock wave therapy, or lithotripsy, to break them up. Larger or recurring stones may call for more complex methods. Childbirth For some women, intense pain in the lower back is an unforgettable aspect of childbirth. Often called back labor, the pain peaks during contractions and lingers in between, making it more difficult for women to push. It's sometimes caused by the baby's head position, with the back of the head pressing into the mother's tailbone, but that's not always the case. Non-medication methods to ease the mother's pain include moving away from a back-lying position, walking and applying counter-pressure, for instance with a tennis ball or warm compresses, to the back. If these aren't enough, relief options include pain medication or an epidural nerve block using local anesthesia to numb the area. Trauma With a gunshot wound or other trauma, a sudden and severe pain can strike a healthy person to a degree they've never experienced, says Dr. Asokumar Bhuvanendran, an anesthesiologist specializing in pain medicine with Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. Acute pain provokes a variety of bodily signs, says Bhuvanendran, who is a past president of the American Society of Regional Anesthesia and Pain Medicine. Rising blood pressure, a racing pulse and cues from the patient's physique, movements and posture all tell the story of intense pain. But clinicians must rely on patients to gauge exactly how much pain they're in, thus those requests to rate your pain on a scale from 1 to 10. Heart attack A heart attack can be painful. The pain associated with a heart attack is often described as a crushing or pressure-like feeling in the chest, and it can spread to other areas of the body, such as the arms, neck, jaw, back, or stomach. Some people may experience heart attack symptoms as a mild discomfort, while others may experience severe, sharp pain. In addition to chest pain, other common symptoms of a heart attack include shortness of breath, sweating, lightheadedness, and a rapid or irregular heartbeat. If you suspect you are having a heart attack, it is important to seek medical attention as soon as possible 
as prompt treatment can help prevent further damage to your heart and improve your chances of recovery. Shingles Older adults who suffer from shingles may wish they'd been vaccinated against herpes zoster, the virus that causes chickenpox in kids and shingles in seniors. Besides rashes, blisters and scabbing, shingles patients suffer intense pain. This occurs in parts of the body along a nerve pattern, called the dermatomy, where the virus resides, often across the trunk. Unfortunately, some patients go on to develop a chronic condition called postherpetic neuralgia, with symptoms including deep or burning pain, extreme sensitivity to touch and numbness in the affected area, which can last for years if not addressed promptly. 